So I'm Chase, I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, and I was here for the Achilles Heel Tactical Baseline Pistol Course. I thought this course was some of the best firearms training I've received. Came in here with an open mind and pretty confident that everybody that was here today will be leaving with some information to take back to really build on. I came across the Project Blue Lion information on the uh, AHT website and thought that that was an opportunity that would be silly to pass up. So I was lucky enough to apply for the sponsorship and they were super helpful, got back to me right away, said I was approved, went ahead and enrolled in the course and got confirmed about a day later, maybe, and then was just pumped to be able to take advantage of such a great opportunity to get some training outside of what we do at work on a daily basis. I think it's good for civilians to see law enforcement training outside of their everyday hours, and I think it's important for them to know that a lot of us take it seriously, and we take our training seriously, and we wanna be able to perform at the highest level possible given the job that we have to do. It's a very welcoming environment. If there's any nerves or you're worried about your skill level, I don't think that's gonna be an issue at all with the people that are putting on these AHD courses. It's a great staff, great group of people, and it was an amazing training environment today. My name is Matt Goldsmith from Crane, Missouri, and today we did the baseline pistol class uh, with Rick and his team um, out here just north of Joplin, Missouri. It was awesome. Um, you know, coming into this thing, a little bit nervous, a little bit kind of worked up, you know, what didn't know what to expect, didn't know anybody here. It was a great experience from, from start to finish. You know, we went over the safety in the morning, we turned around into some basics, went into our grip. Um, you know, like I was telling my son earlier on some of the breaks here in the first 30 minutes, I, I took away more um, in that first introduction with a grip and just going over some basic stuff than, than really what I expected to take out through the entire day. So um, I, I can't speak highly enough. It was absolutely awesome. Uh, I really want to get my son out here. I, well, I'm not really want to. I'm going to get my son out here. It was it was well worth the time and the effort. I think it's important that we get our young people, not just our relatives, but we just get the next generation coming up familiar with firearms. Um, you know, for, for me early on, um, you know, I competed in several different sports and the sports that I um, went further in, I got professional help early on. Um, you know, typically with, with my son, you know, he listens to me, but I'm still dad. It's a lot of time it's better to get, um, you know, a third party. And Rick does a phenomenal job. Um, you know, the way he breaks everything down, he gets in there. If you don't, he doesn't leave you and go to the next student until he knows you have it. And I think if we can work that in with our younger people, in particular my son, at a young age, he's 14. By the time you know he's in his 20s, I mean he's just going to be that much further uh, evolved, and so it's uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. 